Hi foxes and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome! My name is Brittany. I am also known as Shop Foxboro on sites like Poshmark and Etsy, Clubhouse, Instagram, and here on YouTube. And today I am back with another What Sold video. So we are going to be going over the three platforms that I sell on which is Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark. And we're going to find out what sold last week from the 25th. Now before I get started, I actually wanted to talk about something that I am now offering as a service. So if you have been watching my What's Old videos or if you're familiar with my channel, I love selling vintage. It is my passion. It is how I started. Um, and so I am offering a vintage copywriting service. So what that means is you find the items and take the pictures. Um, but then maybe you don't know exactly what era it is or you don't know how to price it or you don't know how to write the description all the little details that someone searching for vintage might use when they were putting in a search. You can actually now have me write the description and the title and give you a suggested price. And so I encourage you to get those vintage items out of your death pile and let me help you take care of them and get them back into the world. I will leave the link for that down below. It is actually through my Shopify, so you would um, submit an order and then you email me the pictures uh, and then I go ahead and write that stuff up for you within one to three business days. So that is a new thing that I am offering and I hope that it encourages you to pick up some vintage because as you will see, vintage uh, can make you a lot of money. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, from this point on, the video will not be edited, so you're going to see me look at my phone a lot. I'm going to sniffle. Um, I just, whatever, it's, it's not edited. My, maybe my son comes in for a visit. Who knows? All right. Let's see. So on Etsy is where we're going to start. <clears throat> so on the 25th, I actually sold this white rabbit fur capelet. Um, I picked this up in a bundle. I think on Poshmark, I was just trying to get the bundle discount and um, I actually found someone else's listing of the exact same one that they said that they wore in the 1960s to prom, which I thought was really cool because it was like a first-hand account. Um, so I ended up selling this one on Etsy for $49.99 plus shipping. And I believe it was given as a gift to a bride. Um, so yeah, just a very exciting little reclaimed fur sale. Um, next up was a vintage headpiece. This was from the 1950s um, and it was like white feathers that like sprayed across the hair and the recipient of this sent me the sweetest message. Um, she was having like you know a tiny little pandemic wedding and she just wanted something to make her feel special on the day and so she got this for herself and I just ah my heart just made me so happy. Uh, next up so this is January 28th and <laughs> when I saw this sale you guys I was like yes! So my husband had these few t-shirts that he had been wearing since like I don't know, his early high school days. And um, there was a Fender t-shirt, there was a Ludwig t-shirt that was his brother's, and there was this t-shirt, which was Led Zeppelin t-shirt. And they're just the, like thrashed, like holes, just complete grunge situation. And he said actually with the Fender shirt that he had had multiple people stop him um, as like a youth and ask if they could buy his shirt while he was wearing it. And I guess that one was actually a dealer shirt. So his grandparents owned a music shop here in our city. And um, so I, I guess it was like a dealer exclusive. But this was, he said he bought it at the mall way back when in high school and wore it <laughs> until it was literally threadbare. But when he told me I could sell it, I was like, yes, this is money. So if you don't know, sometimes with like band tees, 
just like the more shredded and lived in they are, the better. This one was super soft, holes all around the neckline, holes in the front, um, just like really thin, like fraying neck. And I was like, okay, but if you were like a rock star or you were you were about to go up on stage or if you were doing like a photo shoot and you wanted something that was kind of like stand out and grunge and like literally looked lived in you like this is what you would have to buy so i priced it sky high of course as you do and i actually sold all three of his old shirts the fender sold first the Ludwig sold second and then this one took a long time to sell and I did get some low offers on it but it sold for a hundred and ninety four dollars and then um, I offered free shipping on that one but the buyer still had to pay sales tax so that went all the way to Utah and yeah two hundred dollar fan tee. Raid your husband's closets ladies just saying. Or, heck, I mean, maybe you're the one with the grungy old band tees. I got rid of all mine a long time ago. Okay, January 29th. This will be the last sale from Etsy. I listed a couple of these crinolines because I have way too many. And even though I use them for photography, they just, like, take up so, so much space. I decided I need to get rid of some of them. So I sold this one. Um, $45.99. Pretty quick sale, I think maybe a week it took to sell um, and it was white in nice condition and it was just like a multi-layer pretty full crinoline uh, so $45.99 plus shipping and the nice thing about these is that even though they're really big like you can compress them down because they're mesh and they actually don't weigh a lot so shipping was only like four bucks so the buyer didn't have to pay a lot for shipping okay eBay was not as exciting this week as it was last week because I did not have uh, auctions going on. So let's see what I sold. Okay. Only, is that, is that right? Okay. Okay. Only two things. Uh, both of them were more of those music, uh, pamphlets. I sold a Gretsch drum one for 15. Um, that one went international. And I sold a another Gretsch one. This was a second chance offer. If you recall last week, I had um, this one went into like a bidding war and I have a lot of them. So I was able to do a second chance offer and sell it to the second highest bidder as well. So that one sold for $21.53 plus the buyer paid shipping. And that's real, that's it for eBay for that week. So quite a difference from the week before where I made over $500 on eBay. So, <laughs> um, I have been listing pretty regularly on eBay, but mostly clothing. And I don't know, that's just like a hard market right now. So I don't know. All right, next up, Poshmark. Poshmark. If any of you watched Amber Resells, um, video about the Poshmark IPO, you will remember probably that their marketing budget went from 67% of their like, I think it was their like gross revenue to like something like 18. So you're going to notice that when you do Google searches and stuff, not as much Poshmark stuff shows up in the Google sales searches it used to be like saturated with Poshmark listings we're feeling it it has not been a great sales week on Poshmark or really like the last I'm gonna say two months have been like really bad okay so the first thing that sold uh, this was like, as Lori's Boston Found puts it, a buy Felicia. I was so happy to see this go. I picked this up at a buy sell trade store. We have a Plato's Closet in Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, and I took some stuff there once from the bins back when things were normal, probably almost two years ago at this point. And while I was there, I decided to use my credit to just pick up some stuff from the buy sell trade store 
and I picked up this jumpsuit. Let's see if I can find out how much I paid for it. I felt like it was a really good deal because it was new with tags. Okay, I didn't put in how much I paid for it. I think it was $22. Um, but it was brand new with tags. The retail was $178 and it was a size 14. It was an anthropology jumpsuit. I was like, this thing is amazing. I love it. And oh my God, it just took, I, it just took forever, forever to sell. And then I had it listed, I think at like 125, no takers, dropped it down to I think 98, no takers, and then dropped it down to 78 and someone did at least not make me an offer on it. They just came and bought it outright. So that left me with $62.40. So in the end, I still made about $40, which is mint, but it took so long to sell and I was just really tired of looking at it and so disappointed. Um, and I think maybe it was because the inseam was so long. So not only did you have to be a size 14, but you also had to be kind of tall because when I put it on, it was just too long on me, so. I don't know, man. I'm glad that's gone. This went to a wonderful repeat buyer. This is a pair of teardrop earrings. I really loved the colors in these. They weren't really any special brand or anything, but the coral and the lime green and like the shape, I just thought that they had like this really cool retro vibe about them. She kindly came in and paid full price of $16 for those earrings. Um, and I actually ended up sending her a second pair, um, just because, I don't know, I expected offers, which is why I priced it at 16 so. This belt I've had forever. I picked this up at the Goodwill outlet. Um, and then, I don't know, is there anything wrong with it? Let's see if there's anything wrong with it. No, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just, um, it was like an embossed leather belt with like rhinestone detail around the big square buckle. I guess you just had to be a particular type of person because that sat for a really long time. Let's see how long it sat. That sat since not last October, but the October before that. So a year and three months. Um, and it sold for $12 and I got $9. So... Ooh, that was not a good pickup. This one went to a repeat buyer of mine and I think she actually watches my videos because she saw my Stitch Fix lookbook with One Dress Three Ways and it was a shoppable lookbook so I used a lot of items that were available in my Poshmark shop to do the lookbook and she came in and bought the adorable fuzzy cardigan and um, some craft scissors, which I had like a whole collection of them. I used to do more crafty things, but I am purging my life of intentions and um, focusing on what I'm actually going to do. So I ended up listing these craft scissors and she bundled them together. And I had a 30% off all bundles for the month of January. So I made $34.16 on this. The Stitch Fix cardigan was from my palette, so it cost me about $5.50. So I made somewhere around $28, if you don't count the scissors that I purged from my own home. Next up was a pair of high rise skinny jeans. I actually had these, I think, in my last Goodwill haul, and I wondered if I made a mistake in buying them because I had left my phone at home so I didn't check comps on anything but they were a size 14 um yeah and someone came in and actually offered me a really reasonable offer I think I had them at 38 and they offered 34 and I was like okay so those sold for $25 and I paid six dollars at Goodwill so, I made 19 on that. Not bad. This was one of the last five holdouts from an estate sale that I went to. Everything, all the clothing was a dollar. Um, 
I actually have a video about that and I'm hoping to do like a wrap up how much I made sort of video on it um, once the last of these things sell but this was a 1980s like teal sweater shirt thing and it sold for $20. I paid a dollar for it so after fees I made $15 on that one. Next up was a vintage white eyelet dress. This was um, something that I modeled last year. Let's see when I listed it. I listed it in July and Someone offered me $35 for it and I took it because I've had it listed since July and I don't know, I wasn't especially attached to it. So anyway, um, let's see if I wrote down how much I paid for that, where I got it. $6 at Goodwill. So if that is the case, then I made $22 on that one and last sale is this pair of Sailor Moon themed earrings um, I picked these up as like a wholesale thing to have basically like bundleable jewelry in my Poshmark closet and I don't remember how much I paid for these I think it was like two two dollars maybe a, a pair and sold for fifteen dollars with an offer from the buyer and so I made twelve or ten if you take my cost of goods out so that is what I sold last week it really was not a fantastic week on Poshmark and if I had not sold that Led Zeppelin tea, then I think I would classify that as like a really bad week. Um, I know that with Poshmark at least, I used to have pretty much the same quantity of listings and be listing about the same that I am now, except making like four, three or four sales a day. Um, and just having trouble growing my numbers because I was selling so much and that is just not the case anymore. So definitely seeing a downward trend on Poshmark. I think that they are making a lot of changes internally to their search engine. I think that they have decreased how much um, advertising that they are doing. I think there are a lot of outside factors like people not being sure about where um, you know, their next paycheck is coming from or if they can pay their mortgage and buying um, clothes that you really can barely even wear outside right now is not a priority. So I think that there are just a lot of things not in Poshmark's favor. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to keep on trucking and listen what I got around the house and um, yeah. Hopefully it will pick up when spring comes and we'll have um, at least some nice weather outside so people can go dress fancy in their backyards. So that is it for me for today and I will see you next Monday at 8am for my next What Sold video. See you there. Bye!